Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all once more. Oh, this is terrible. Getting some aggressive lag here, trying to load in some of these objects. I'm just going to try and look around a bit as things start popping in. Things should run a bit more smoothly. So, what are we doing here? We're back near Braga, as you can see. And why are we here? Well, because I wanted to take care of some things before we go to Morasul. Because Morasul, a lot is going to happen there. And I did kind of want to start a few things, including this. Now, the clue in this, I wish I could use the um, cursor without this going away. The clue is in the last paragraph there. Was he resting on the trade routes of the Hishishin? Is he hiding in the cover of the mountain ranges? Well, by trade routes, they of course mean these um, sort of weathered trails between the cities. And by mountain range, they pretty much mean this whole uh, cluster of hills and mountains between here and um, pretty much all the way to Bakaresh. So, the implication is that the next clue will be somewhere along the way here. So if we follow this, we should, in due time, find it. Oh, hello. Well, that's a problem. Oh, wow. I can't believe I got away from him. Well, now. This is interesting. There's a bit of a, um, bit of, what do you call this? Not really a crevice, but something like that. Something's attacking me. Oh, an ogre. Well, how about that? I suppose we should deal with this. So that we might, uh, find some clues that lie within. Are there more ogres? Indeed there be. At least one of them. I guess that was the only other one. I thought there were at least three. These guys usually travel in bigger packs than that. Now, what's this then? Another chest. A fixed chest. And uh, the key from the damaged chest on the island opened this. And here is part two of Grandpa's legacy. And Guru Key number two, interesting. Well, what? Did I not take it? What? What happened? That was weird. <gasps> Fanatic animals. Hairware? Ouch. Book Slayer? Oh, this is interesting. Oh, wow. They got me cornered. Having a hard time landing hits on him. For God's sake, really? How am I not hitting you? That's right, eat it. What the? Pills of luck. Hey, interesting. Doesn't always work out. And what do you have? You have a thousand gold, not bad. And you? Adonis' tears, wow. And that's just a full restoration on your health, mana, and endurance. So, we found the second clue, then. Let's read this diary and see what it has to tell us. Grandpa's Legacy Part 2. It was our task to fight him, whose innumerous undeeds brought all in despair, taunting us while he wrote his silent testimony of his deeds at every one of his sacrifices. Suffering and desperation clouded the view, and still we were on the hunt for him. We solved problems here and there, for thanks we got new ones there. Oh, wait. We solved problems here, and for thanks we got new ones there. More impressive tasks. Heavy was the weight on our shoulders, too heavy for some of us. And so we lost a few of our brothers right from the start of our hunt. No, not that I doubted our goal, but had the first of the sacrifices be to be brought right now already? What? A high prize we price, I imagine. High price we paid. Grief for the fallen warriors, for the fallen brothers, 
but do not despair or their sacrifice will have been for nothing. After he took some of us, he fled to the north. Surely he will avoid the cities, but completely without walls he will not survive if he wants to stand against us. Alright, so that points us to the castle south of... South of what? South of Nordmar. So we will check that out next. I do kind of want to take out... Uh, well, I'll at least do that one. But I do kind of want to take out a uh, part of this quest, as well as something else that people have been um, telling me how to accomplish. Maybe I'll just have one of these. And one of these. Uh, but first, there was something near Al Shadim that I remember. And I would have done it first, but I couldn't remember if it was actually part of this quest. But evidently it is not, otherwise that probably would have been the third location. There is still something really weird there, if I remember correctly. And so, I kind of wonder what this channel was for. There must have been a, um, a, a sort of irrigation system. Maybe not irrigation, but at least a water transport from somewhere. But it does, it just seems to end here. So I don't really know where the source of the water was supposed to be. Maybe there was a... Maybe there was access to a spring somehow, and it's just kind of been filled in with sand over the years. Who knows? And right up there, you can kind of see the um, silhouettes through the sandstorm. That's where I want to go. And we will bring Lester with us just Come for fun. Me. Here we go, then. And he's still digging here for some reason. I don't know why he's still working when the uh, his orcish malefactors are gone. But... Maybe he still just wants to find the stone tablets. Seem to have a... kind of a keen interest in those. And there probably are more stone tablets to find here, but... to me, one of the most boring things to do in any video game is just to... you know, comb over... sort of featureless areas and try and find... things with no clue of what you're looking for. There are a dick ton of crawlers here. Oh, this one's gonna hit me first. What the hell are you doing? Well, whatever, you helped me out a lot. By refusing to kill me. Whatever, we don't need to kill all of them. Now, right up here... Should be something interesting. You can kind of see some hanging bodies and stuff. Whatever this was, seemed to have been sort of an execution grounds. And here's an ogre. Go on, go get him. Atta boy. Oh wow, there's so many. Back you devils. You hail spawn. Wow. These guys hit hard. Really hard. What? Oh. Oh. Well done, Eat it. Beast. Well, that was weird. The music kicked in again all of a sudden. And here's something to dig. So let's dig. And... Not bad. <laughs> it's a little glitchy there, doesn't it? And here's a heavy chest, so there should be something unique in here. This doesn't seem to be exactly where I thought it was. Oh! The origin of the blade is not proven. They suppose the Swordmaster of Adonos as its creator. So I think this might have been... Either it was... I don't remember if that ever was in the game, to be honest. Might be... Oh, there it is. Now here is where it gets weird. Immolated man. And a cursed ancient. So the cursed ancient just seems to be a mummy, but the immolated man is altogether rather different. In fact, he's just sort of a reskin of the Shrets. 
which already look like really rotted humans. This one is, he has a very orange tex texture that kind of imply burn wounds. He's carrying poison, ice ring. Ice ring, eh? I wonder what this does then. Now, as far as this guy's... This guy's presence in the game, I don't know where he comes from, because I don't remember ever finding him before... Before the... Before the... Before the uh, content mod. Now, the ice ring doesn't actually seem to do anything. But perhaps... Perhaps... This might actually be part of the staff. Or have something to do with it. The staff of the, um... This guy doesn't have anything. The staff of the eternal living. There's also something to dig here, so... And... Just some, uh, just some loot. Nothing too impressive. But, well, that was a... Interesting side trip. All right, Lester, we're done with you. Go back. You know what? So let's just think. The castle is somewhere up here. So the easiest way to get there, I guess, we'll just go to Silden. We'll do that first, and. I believe the clues from there will lead us to Nordmar, and I will... When I do the Ancestor Tombs, that's when I'm also going to be looking for the uh, further clues, because I have not really found them before. This castle is the furthest I've gotten as far as this guru quest goes. Oh dear, oh dear. The frame rate took an absolute shit. Oh, bugger off. These things are the only reason I hate Martana. But there was something else I kind of forgot about. The pills. Where did those go? So they add some maximum to each of those stats. But just one point, so it's not really... A big deal. I hope that's not part of a potion or something that I could have made. You never know. Okay, so we're gonna kind of traverse this rebel forest again. So you can kind of follow these cairn stones, which will lead you to uh, Nordmar, but also put you on a easy path to get to the castle over here. Ho, oh, Jimin. Well, now. Oh. Got a little uh, carried away there, didn't I? And here be the castle. Already a lot of skeletons are in there. Just kind of chilling. I don't think any of them can really come out of here once again. Except that one's going to shoot me. Whatever, I got that off first. Oh, sweet, another level up.
Alright, well, this place is obviously very well guarded. So the clue to this place was supposed to be that uh, he would have sought a place that still had walls, even though he would have avoided the cities. And obviously this is the most intact structure, but, you know, it's still not much of a shelter. So I think that clue, it was not a very good clue. Because it's not like there are not castles like this that exist, like ruins like this that exist in uh, other parts of Mertana as well. What the hell is all that? You see all that stuff on the horizon there? Like just little floating objects. I would see something wrong with the, uh, with the render distance, but I think it might just be like the tops of trees. That for some reason are showing even when their trunks are not. And this is just an old chest. Uh, this has nothing special in it. Except the Amulet of the Paladin. So that gives mana and strength. What I have has more mana, so I'm going to keep that. And now here is the repaired chest. So this has the next clue. And of course, can only be opened by the second key. And of course, something big and bad and nasty is going to pop up. And we're just going to have to run for it. Here's a group hypnosis spell. Interesting. So, Google Key number three, the Golden Key, and Grandpa's Legacy part three. And here are a lot of shreds. Black Feather. So once again, they just can't get out of here because they're idiots. So I cannot stop targeting the one in front. Well, it's a shame that I kind of have to explode it like this, but it's either this or I run back in there and get myself killed. Tenth Man. Interesting names. I wonder if these are like usernames for people who worked on the mod. Timer. I don't know why I can't... Oh, there it is. No name. And Knight of the Round Table. So I thought this, like, initially when I first found this, I was really surprised. I didn't know that... Because... Uh, this is added by... If I understand it correctly, I've, I often fear that I'm not... If I'm understanding correctly, this whole quest was added instead by the um, community patch, not by the content mod. Because it was just sort of an inside joke on the Where's the Guru crash, which was one of the biggest things that needed to be patched out. And so, I'm assuming... Well, what, what I mean is when I first found this whole quest and all this... I thought it might have been like a really elaborate joke by Pranobites themselves. But no, in fact, that's not the case. This guy's fingers rapier. Wow. So that's actually a throwback way back to uh, the shadow in the first Gothic, who is also referenced in in um, Gothic 2. But he didn't have a rapier as far as I know. And you have penetration crossbow. Interesting. You have 3,000 gold. Very acceptable. I don't care about you. Timer has... Enosis Solace, so that's the same as... Adonosis Tears. And the Knight has... Max Life Energy. Isn't... Isn't there already one of the... No. Yeah, okay. So that's a ring. Uh, Adonos's ring, which um, gives life energy. So if you do, if you are kind of hurting for hit points, you can equip both of those and get an extra hundred. It's not too bad, not too bad. Now, let's read the next book. Grandpa's Legacy. Troublesome moments lay behind us. The way you ask for more offerings and privations? What the hell does that mean? 
No one can tell us what awaits tomorrow. Still, we do not have to face the oncoming signs and dangers alone anymore. On our way, we found noble knights who wandered with us on the same path. With their aid, we could aid. With their aid, we could, in shorter time, battle a larger number of dangers. Without a doubt, without our new companions at this moment, we would not have been this far along the path. Brother, look! There he lies on the ground before us. His tracks are clear. His wounds deep. He cannot be far away. The castle did not withstand our attacks, but he is not to be found in the cellars. Ah, so that implies that this castle is actually standing. It was not ruined when they showed up. And they laid siege to it. Oh, I totally forgot about this one. So, wow, that is the most ancient carrot in the world, then. Oh, whoops. So that implies, yeah, that this place was actually standing when they showed up, and they laid siege to it. So that explains why the guy would have sought out these ruins. Now the whole the whole layout to these to this castle makes no sense to me. Uh, there's a very similar one in uh, that Tipler from Faring had us clear out of goblins, and it just doesn't make any sense how they structured it. Anyway, uh, let's continue reading then. Does he seek the peace of the dead? Though before we set for the last battle, give our fallen brothers the last honor. Bury them in these sacred grounds and let them guard these battlefields. Maybe they even guard us, as the way up north will be a cold one. Does he seek the peace of the dead? The only thing I can imagine is that the next part of the legacy is actually in one of the ancestor tombs. And I don't remember ever finding it in one. But I might have just ignored it because I couldn't open it. So, we'll keep an eye out for that. When I'm doing the Ancestor Tombs, I will be looking for the next clue. But, in the meantime, we have some business to attend to. Someone told me, and unfortunately I just... I keep forgetting who tells me these things. I really should just write your names down when I start preparing these videos. But they told me the rewards of... Or so hinted at the... Stop. You are wanted here for theft. Again? I haven't done anything. Uh, you dare to rob me, mora? For fuck's sake. Now please just leave me alone because I did not steal anything. So, yeah, someone hinted at the rewards for completing Milton's quest to kill all the dragons. And one of the dragons, I see, I used to think that there was a dragon or two dragons near Monterra. And apparently I was mistaken. Either that or those ones were removed and new ones were added. But apparently one of the dragons that I've never found somewhere in these hills. Oh, how much do you want to bet that's a transformation into a snapper? Ha! There are a whole bunch of snappers out here. That's kind of funny. Perhaps that implies that one of the snappers we killed is actually a human. Oh uh, yeah, goblins here. I believe there might be shrats and other dangerous things out here as well. And it's a bit unusual that there was a lone goblin. Oh, bloodfly. Got some wild boars. Be gone with you. I think they said to look out for like a ruined tower or something. Got a bit of a plateau here. I think there are ogres. And, uh. No, that's a rhino. 
Interesting. Well, I shouldn't have done that without saving. Because my experiences with rhinos in the past have not worked out too well. It seems those are the only ones. I don't really see what I'm looking for. Actually, the dragon's not way up on that... Oh, there's a Shadow Beast. Oh, oh, oh. I do remember now. Indeed I do. You know what? I don't think I ever found it. Oh, never mind. I kind of remember it now. Oh, hello. So you see this path here? We're not going to do anything about it. That is simply something that we cannot deal with quite this soon. But I do believe that what we're looking for is, in fact, on that plateau where um, where we went in search of the artifact for uh, Nemrock, the Shadow Scepter. I think it might be high time to kill some trolls, just so these dudes just leave me alone. Do a lot more damage than I used to. Oh, wow. Back you devils! Oh yeah, Troll Fist Smasher. The Smasher of Troll Fists. Oh, I love stun locking. Until it happens to me. Alright, so... These guys who annoyed me enough already... Are now out of the way. And here's another heavy chest. What does this one have? Oak Bow. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, dragon root. And a regular old metal chest. Damn it all. And a unlock spell. Oh, another dragon root. Wow. Impressive. I'm not really sure why I collect these. I never use them. I never use the iron stems either. All in all, any um, like endurance restoration is much more valuable than I ever gave it credit for. And if we head up to the waterfalls again, we're going to get the idyllic theme again. Actually, there's uh, some... Here we go. Oh, I love it. I hate to interrupt it, but while we're here, I also do want to do something about this. You. I need to kill a bunch of yous for a quest that I do not have yet. Oh, wow. Right in the face. Oh, hello. And a poison bladder. And this is really one of the coolest locations in the game. It's just a shame that there's not really a whole lot to it. It's big. There's a lot of falling water, a lot of mist from the uh, spray as it lands. It's just one of the most impressive, like, largest and most impressive um, landscape features that Piranha Bites has made for this game. And I can't believe that just fucking happened. And it's weird because this is so underdeveloped as a location, and yet it has its own theme, like its own music, which does not play anywhere else. There might be some treasure chests around. I don't think I've ever really, really searched the whole place. As you can see, when you get close to the um, waterfalls, it's actually a lot less impressive. It's just a um, 
don't know what you call this, but it's just completely two-dimensional. There's nothing to it. And in fact, the the sort of white water spray when it hits is actually much further away from the landing point of the water than it's supposed to be. I almost get the feeling, and I apologize if you can't hear me, I'm definitely going to have to make sure to do the audio balancing right for this part, but I almost think that this place might have been made while perhaps they had no intention of you actually being able to swim. I don't really know. And I, ju I just get that feeling because if you swim all the way out here, you'll find a lot of just sort of, you know, a lot of weird problems in the uh, landscape design. The waterfalls are just kind of cheap and not really well put together. And overall, even though it looks incredible from a distance, up close, the facade kind of falls apart really quickly. So I feel like maybe they did, maybe they, like early in development, they didn't really intend you to be able to swim. And then they just kind of threw in the feature almost as like an afterthought, seeing as swimming didn't really accomplish anything in the original game. Except there is a chest over here, so this might actually completely defeat my entire argument. It depends on what it contains. If it's uh, if it seems like something that's more of an Easter egg, then it was probably added by the content mount or something. Now let's see what secrets you hold. And no, it's a pretty typical chest, so... I don't know. I just think... Overall, this whole area just... It almost looks like everything was just a placeholder and they just never really finished designing it. There are more swamp lurkers over here. Oh, whoa! That's a black troll up there. So where'd the other one go? Alright, well... Oh, there you are. Eat it. Now let's see what we can do to troll face here. There's another troll. Oh god, going through his crotch. And the black troll's coming. Okay, retreat. Get out of there, you fool! Surely there must be somewhere I can stand and still blast him. Alright, excellent. Ah, this is cheap, but these guys are much too huge. Come on, hit him in the face. Marvelous. And two fewer trolls, and we got troll horns from him, which is kind of funny because he doesn't have horns. I mean, unless you count those things as horns. I always thought they were just more like really weird long hairs and stuff. Why are you shooting? I did not click anything. Right, so there are snappers and such around here. No big deal. Impossible. Oh, wow. Whoops. First we need, uh, more mana. You know, I never really checked to see how much mana actually restores each tick. So, let's see. One tick. So it's four mana, like, pretty much every second. That's how much you get back from the mana regen ability. Alright. Or Apple Blade Coral Scavenger Egg. 402 gold coins. Alright, well, let's try and find some more snappers to hunt. Alright, lurkers. I don't know how many other poison bladders we're gonna need. <laughs> 